seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You're listening to the Weekly Roundup for the 24th of October 2018, and here are your headlines. Kimang out of his depth. Pressure is mounting on Captain Kimang after suggestions that he's the modern day Ryan Giggs. Quay Cooper survives for now. Australia lose New Zealand, but were heroic in their defeat. Your news programme tonight is presented by Matt Barrett and a refreshed and revamped Chrissy Armstrong. This is Chris Armstrong bringing you tonight's top story. Kimang out of his depth. The reports are in that Captain Kimang is rattled after his major loss to the land of the rocking sun in the Dion Arpenheimer Premier League. In a recent press conference at Oceanic Park, Captain Kimang is quoted as saying, I am always looking to bring in new talent to my squad when quizzed upon the issue. In light of this, depth charge, now retired, rotting on the inactive players' pools, has offered his services to the captain. Sensing a profit like a shark sensing blood in the water, Mr Freeway has slapped a whopping £2.5 million transfer fee on fullback Abdul Musa. We look forward to how Captain Kimang approaches this situation and whether or not his team can bounce back from such a defeat. The Australian Rugby Board and Director of Rugby Michael Checker have decided to keep the faith with under-pressure manager Quay Cooper following his size defeat to New Zealand. Michael Checker expressed his desire to back Quay Cooper throughout the Rugby Championship after the encouraging signs and great play by some of Australia's star men, especially Kangaroo Jack. Australia, of course, play the second match of the Bledisloe in Round 2 of the Rugby Championship in Auckland against New Zealand, and although New Zealand are now heavily the favourites for the Bledisloe series, there are some real, real encouraging signposts for Australia's rugby going forward. Quay Cooper reportedly has told the Evening Rot, however, that he just wants to get sacked now. He is fed up of the stress, he is fed up of the sweaty nights tossing and turning, he just wants to have an easy life and retire. But the Australian rugby board and Michael Checker keep him under under this sort of stress in his managerial position in order to take the pressure and use him as a scapegoat from the angry Australian fans. Now it's over to CJ Champion to bring you those final scores. In our first match of the week, we have the Bledisloe opener. Australia 10, New Zealand 14. Heading now over to the Ashtray quarterfinals, Kevick 0, RFC Checker Trade 14. Shingje Islanders 6, Verminators 5. Near de 17. Hands in the Ruck, nil. Ancient Mega Powers, 24. Scrum Wars, nil. Now we move on over to the Diona Oppenheimer Prem. Jackal Amor, nil. Pets Gone Wild, 3. RFC WWE, 7. Walla Disney's, 28. RFC Nautical, 5. Land of the Rucking Sun, 28. Okay, it's time for your special appearance notices. This is the feature where we celebrate and discuss the players who achieved a landmark appearance number this past week. 
All these appearance uh, appearance specialities occurred on the 24th of October 2018. A big, big, big congratulations to all the following players who achieved 50 appearances. This is no small feat, and we will recognise the following. Steve McNulty of RC Checker Trade. Mark Creighton of RC Checker Trade. Godzilla, Weathering, Trevelyan, Musée of the Near Dwells. Alpha Peasant of the Ancient Mega Powers. And finally, Afflicted Horror of the Shingji Islanders. Once again, a huge, huge, huge congratulations to the boys on the 50 appearances. And, uh, you know, have all, the, have all the best next week. Have some fun when you get to walk out on your own from the tunnel first and get the full standing ovation you deserve from the fans. And those were your appearance notices on Weekly Roundup. And that's the end of this week's broadcast of Weekly Roundup. I've been Matt Barrett, and thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next week.